Namaskar, students. Okay, nice to see you, everyone here in the classroom. Uh, today we are going to uh, discuss on writing skill. In our last class, we had discussed about describing an object or a place. Uh, related to that, we had discussed about reading test, uh, listening test, speaking test, okay, and grammar also we did. And today's class, this is the last class of Unit 11. Uh, we are discussing on writing skill. Okay, so I would like to request you to look at your book, page number 139. Okay, 38 and 39, there is writing scale. We are today uh, discussing about this writing scale. So uh, look at here. Uh, what do you see in the picture? Okay, have you ever tasted dumplings? Do you know what is dumplings? Dumplings is momo. Okay, we say momo to dumplings. Okay, have you ever tasted it? Okay, everyone, I think we have tasted dumplings, okay? So can you guess that what are the ingredients needed to prepare it? Ingredients, I'm talking about. Do you know what is ingredients? Okay, ingredients are the element or component, okay? Components which are used for making momo, okay? So can you guess that what are the things needed? Okay, there are varieties of momo we can find in the market, okay? Uh, they are veg, uh, veg momo, non-veg momo, okay? There are other varieties as well. So depending upon the quality or uh, the variation, uh, the variety uh, ingredients also differs, okay? If it is uh, vegetable momo, then you can see here, uh, paneer, mixed vegetable, and other items we can include there. And if it is non-veg, then chicken, mutton, pork, fish, etc. we can use, okay? So ingredients, other flour, uh, piece of vegetable, piece of onions, okay? These are the things also needed to prepare momo. Okay, I think some of your favorite food is momo as well. You know that in our country, we can see that uh, when we go to restaurant and then we go to, through the the menu and then we would like to uh, just order momo first okay i think so uh, and now just have a look here the text as i have told you look at page number 139 there we can see the dumplings my favorite food and essay on dumplings okay uh, today we are just going to go through each and every sentences and then lines there and we will see how it has been written and we will do creative copy okay uh, so just have a look there okay uh, you can see there, you can see in your book, page number 139, the same thing is there, okay? Uh, there are altogether four paragraphs we can see in this uh, essay, okay? Generally, we write essay of three or four paragraphs, okay? Uh, so look at that in introduction part. Uh, are you fond of eating? The world is fooled filled with many varieties of foods. Each individual is unique on the basis of their taste. People like different food items at different times and occasions according to their culture, uh, tradition, and places they live. Okay, uh, as I belong to Nepal and I observe its many cultures, I enjoy different food items. Among them is dumpling, which is called momo in Nepali. Okay, this is the first paragraph. We can see the general information about momo or about the food items, okay? Uh, so uh, in second paragraph, you can see that generally momo is categorized into two types, okay, veg momo and then uh, non-veg. So there are varieties of vegetable dumplings like paneer, mixed vegetable, and so on. Similarly, non-vegetable dumplings come in a long list of varieties like chicken, bov, pork, okay, uh, mutton, fish, and so on. Momos are served with pickles, which enrich the 
taste. Uh, enrichments develop or okay, enhance. Uh, many varieties of pickles like tomato pickle, chili, peanut, and other types are served with it. Okay, this is the varieties of uh, momo which we can find in the market. Okay. Uh, about this here is talking in the second paragraph that a writer is explaining about uh, what kind of momo we can find in the uh, uh, in restaurant, okay. So in third paragraph, he is talking about his personal opinion and feelings about uh, Momo. Okay, basically, I enjoy Momo a lot. In fact, I enjoy it so much that I don't like to say it, not even with my brother. Maybe by reading this sentence, we can see that he shares uh, everything with his brother, but uh, this Momo he doesn't like to share even with his brother. Uh, People think of it as junk food, okay, uh, which we can find in the market and then eat, and uh, we know that junk food is not good for our health, okay. So here, writer is saying that uh, people think that momo is junk food, but I don't think so. Writer does not think so. Uh, it is because we can make it healthy if we want. Okay, I'm fond of it as I can choose uh, from many varieties of it. Uh, when it is served hot, it tastes the best. As I adore adornments like the variety in general, I like the stunning smell of all different types. Okay, fascinating smell. Uh, the smell of spices, ginger, coriander, onion, chilies, oil, and garlic always waters my mouth. So these are the spices. Okay, ginger, you know that adwa, coriander is dhania, uh, onion chili oil this you know I think and garlic okay lasun so always waters my mouth he is talking about his feelings towards uh, Momo. When I pass the restaurants which serve Momo, I remember the delicious and amy taste. Okay, different shapes with white skin, smooth surface, and tempting appearance can attract an any eye. Uh, the best part is that when we eat pickle oozes out, when I sink my mouth into it cross stop inside spices onion and fat i feel i'm in heaven i can eat three plates in a single sitting even though i know i will have a stomach ache afterwards look at how nicely he has expressed his uh, views his feelings of momo uh, here Besides the modern varieties like fried, kua, si, suimai, and momo with soup, which are best served in different restaurants, are becoming popular day by day. We can find varieties of momo in, uh, in restaurants. No doubt, momo lovers like me are also growing with its growth. Okay, according to the variety is growing, momo lovers are also growing. So general, and finally he has concluded his feelings through this idea. So in that way, different ideas he had expressed uh, here. Uh, as I have told you, four paragraphs are here. We can sum up this uh, in this way. Okay, uh, I can summarize this here. I, I have summarized here some of the uh, idea, look at. In first paragraph of your book, you can see there in your book, in first paragraph there is talking about general statement on Momo, my favorite food, okay? And the writer has introduced Momo here. And WH questions answer, okay? Uh, what is it, where we can find it, okay? How is it, uh, okay, like this kind of WH questions, you know? Uh, like where, what, how, okay, uh, we, when, uh, etc. This this type of why, 
this type of questions answer we can write there in first paragraph okay the writer has talked about these things there in first paragraph in second paragraph he has talked about varieties of ingredients okay uh, two different kinds of varieties he has talked ways and non ways type okay so he has talked about varieties of ingredients used in momo and in third paragraph he has talked about sensory domains okay the about this we had talked in our uh, previous class as well there we had uh, the writer has talked about the favorite fruit okay uh, when she has visited orchard at the time she has found orange orchard and in orange orchard how it looks like it smells like taste like and touches like this things she has explained in that reading test and here in this uh, writing test as well the writer has expressed these things there in third paragraph and he has also included his uh, feelings and then excitement okay while eating momo and finally in fourth paragraph he has restated the uh, main idea okay uh, the main idea and summarized with emotion and physical attitude so in this way we can write an essay descriptive essay about my favorite food uh, dividing in four different paragraphs so introduction conclusion here and then body part okay so in this way we can do now as I have told you that we will just try to uh, copy these things uh, from the text you keep your book together with you and then take your copy and a pen okay and then try to copy it uh, I told you creative copy okay we are doing creative copy we will just go through first paragraph and then you think about your favorite fruit food okay which food item is your favorite uh, think about that and general statements we can write a similar type of uh, and introduce your favorite food and ws questions answer also include there okay uh, that is uh, creative copying is just we will copy the ideas given there but uh, the content will be different Okay, uh, just like here the writer has talked about uh, Momo, so you can choose any other food item and then uh, you will just copy the ideas uh, given there and using your own sentences, own words, you will write there. Just like in varieties, the writer has talked about ways and non ways item, you can talk about different other things, okay? So in that way, we will do creative copying. Uh, I have uh, here one example for you. So here I have uh, talked about uh, pizza, okay? Have you ever seen pizza? Yeah, of course. I think uh, nowadays in remote areas as well, in restaurants, we can find pizza, okay? Uh, so it is also one of the favorite food of many of us, okay? And my favorite food is pizza, okay? So here I'm going to do creative copying uh, of this pizza, okay? Uh, just uh, the writer has talked about dumplings and I have talked about here pizza. You can see the differences between writer's first paragraph and my first paragraph, writer's second paragraph and my uh, second paragraph, and how writer has concluded the sentences and then concluded the essay and then how I had concluded ULC. As I have given here pizza, you will choose any other food item and then write down in the similar way. You have got two different ideas writer's idea one and my idea and you will create your own idea in that way we will do uh, look at here the first paragraph okay you compare this with writer's idea okay since my childhood I'm very fond of eating and cooking okay food gives us energy and uh, energy to grow. Without food, there is no life. There are many varieties of food available in today's world. Like in Nepal, we eat dal, vat, tarkari, dhidu, momo, uh, paratha, burger, pizza, etc. Okay, though these are the varieties, Western varieties, but also we can find in our uh, local restaurant as well. Nowadays, uh, people come, customers come to uh, eat burger, pizza, so most of the uh, restaurant uh, there is available these things. Uh, among the number of food 
pizza is my favorite food because it tastes and it smells wonderful in my opinion okay my personal view is this uh, now you will write about your item your uh, your experience okay uh, just like in this way you will write descriptive essay on uh, you can write my favorite food first write the food item and then my favorite food write and write first paragraph uh, getting the ideas from here Okay, so in the same way, we will do a second paragraph. This is writer has said about Momo. As I have told you, we are we have done creative copy. So nothing is uh, that much difference between writer saying and then mine one. Only the content differs. You can see. Uh, look at. Uh, generally, pizza is classified into two varieties. I have um, copied this writer sentences, uh, base and then non-veg. The pizza base, cheese, sauce all are vegetarian if we add meat chicken fish etc then it is non vegetarian pizza okay and if we add toppings is uh, vegetables paneer uh, other leaves then the pizza is vegetarian so it is the toppings okay toppings means the thing which is kept uh, above the pizza base okay so uh, that decided whether the pizza is vegetarian or non veg Okay, this is the category. I have talked about this second paragraph. Varieties of ingredients used in Momo is, uh, this is the writer saying, but I have written varieties of ingredients used in pizza. Okay, so you will write about other food, food item in the same way. Next paragraph, this is the third paragraph, the writer, you can see there in your book. Uh, I have written in this way. Uh, basically, the pizza itself look uh, so yummy, crisp, uh, crispy, and so cheesy. There is no better feeling in the world than a warm pizza box on your lap. My love for pizza is very immense. Sorry. I am yum, Ian, yes, -y, okay. Uh, I am always hungry for pizza. Nearly any ingredient can be put on pizza. The chopped vegetables, tomato sauce, cheese, and mushrooms make me eat more and more. I celebrate my every occasion with pizza. Many times I get scolded for having pizza because anything in excess causes harm to our health. We know that, right? Anything, if we uh, eat excessively, then of course it will harm us, but also, uh, but a pizza lover will always be a pizza lover like me, okay? I feel like there is something between me and pizza, the bond between, be, the bond which cannot be broken. Though uh, I can find um, sometimes it harms me, but also I cannot stop myself eating pizza. So I have here shared my experience and my excitement to eat pizza. Okay, this is the third paragraph. Uh, as you see here, I have explained about sensory domains, okay, sense organs, uh, using the sense organs, what it looks like, how I, it smells, tastes, and touches, okay, and then I had included my feelings and my excitement and third paragraph. Okay, so now the last paragraph, the writer has written this, these sentences you know from your textbook, uh, and this is mine. No matter how much I have eaten, okay, I have continued uh, the second, third paragraph to fourth one, uh, restating the main idea here. I never fail to make myself feel hungry when I have my favorite pizzas in front of me. I cannot stop myself. Uh, flavors are felt exploding in my mouth when I take the first bite of my pizza. My love for my pizza is everlasting and nobody can separate me from my Pizza, okay, so in this way, so I had summarized uh, my emotional and physical attitude towards pizza. Okay, so in this way, we can write about any food item. Okay, four paragraphs we will write in AC. This is descriptive AC. Okay, uh, so first paragraph, second paragraph, third and fourth. What are the items we have to include? We had discussed here. Okay, uh, so now you look at. Uh, exercise C in exercise C there we can see a word wave okay uh, have a look
these are the general questions we have to think. Here we are going to describe the uh, famous building or structure. Okay, uh, so here, look at the questions. We, we are making word wave, okay, before writing. So for famous building and structure, first of all, you should talk about what it is, okay? Uh, what it is uh, we are talking about, whether we are talking about temple or building or any structures, okay? Uh, we will write first, then after where is it, okay? You will uh, think about where is it exactly, okay? Location of the building or structure and who built it. You have to find out if it is historical building, then in which century it was built and then uh, the date also you have to find out. And when it was built, okay, the time, who built it, the person who had built uh, this, uh, this uh, especially this building or structure, and then when it was built, you should know it, and what it is used for, okay? Just, just getting the ideas or for visiting only, okay? Or it is about art, related to art, or it is a temple, what it is used for, we will include this idea as well. And what do you like and dislike about it? Okay, including this information, we will write about famous building or structure. Okay, uh, so before starting writing, you will uh, just write these things. Okay, what is it? Just uh, here, I have written about Paswatinath Temple, okay? One of the building, famous building, which we can find here in Kathmandu, okay? Uh, so I'm going to write about uh, Kathmand uh, Paswatinath Temple, and then where is it? It is in Kathmandu, okay? Uh, near the Pagmati River, we can say this one. And who built it? There is not exactly who had built it, the information is there, because uh, there is a story behind it, uh, behind its construction. Somebody says that Angsu Burma has built it, somebody says that uh, Malla King has built it. So uh, according to the in information I have written here, and when it was built, as uh, I told you that um, from the uh, very early century okay uh, it was built the information is different uh, you will see in my uh essay there, uh, what is it used for, okay, for worshipping the God, okay. Uh, Paswatina temple is famous for worship, uh, worshipping God Siva, okay. So people from around the world, um, especially uh, from every part of the, every corner of our country and the neighboring countries, uh, they come to worship the God Siva here in Paswatina temple. And what do you like and dislike about it? Uh, I, uh, I don't uh, have anything which I um, detested, uh, I detest there, I dislike there, but I like the pagoda style, that uh, pagoda styles, that um, structure, okay? I like uh, um, different kinds of carving there, okay? Um, uh, everything I like there, which I had mentioned there in my essay, you will uh, find that later on. So as I have told you that before starting writing, in this way, if we make word wave, as you can see in your book also, page number 138, uh, about uh, writing the my favorite food dumplings, the writer has mentioned here word wave uh, of Momo first. He had uh, he had written there, you can see Momo is there, and then veg Momo, non-veg Momo, and then ingredients for veg Momo, and ingredients for non-veg Momo, he has made the uh, word wave and then it will be very easy for him to write so before he starting writing you should also do these things and then it will help you to write develop the essay okay so these things we will discuss here uh, you just uh, I have written about Paswatina temple you think about any other uh, temples or any other building or structures okay uh, you can talk about uh, Darwar, Patan Darwari square as well you can also talk about you know, other buildings okay uh, so uh, here I have talked about Paswatina temple and uh, is we had learned about creative copying so you can uh, just do the creative copy or you can write your own ideas there as well, okay? But before writing, what, where, who, when, uh, like this kind of questions answer, you should uh, know 
and you should make the list. Yeah, this is just making the clues as well, okay? Before starting writing, if you make the clues, then it will help you to develop your essay, okay? Uh, not only descriptive essay, but in other essays as well, whether it is argumentative or expository or uh, any other essays, before writing, if you write some clues, then it will be very much helpful for you to uh, develop your essay. Okay. okay, let's have a look at the in Paspati, uh, in slide. You can see there Paspatina Temple. Uh, I have written about Paspatina Temple. Uh, it's, we had discussed about um, the word wave and then a famous building we are discussing about. You see here, I told you this is just for general information, general idea, and you will write about any other building. Okay, uh, one of the most sacred Hindu temple of Nepal, Paspatina Temple, is located on both bank of Bagmati River on the eastern border of Kathmandu. Okay. Paspatinath is the most famous temple dedicated to God Shiva. Every year this temple attracts hundreds of elderly followers of Hinduism from the motherland and pilgrims of neighboring countries. Okay. So in this way we can write the first paragraph okay. including what is it, where is it. Okay. This information you can write there in first paragraph. Now who built it, when it was built, these things we will talk about in different paragraphs. Uh, Nepal is a small country located between two huge countries, India and China. Being small also it has a great significance in the world. Uh, Nepal is highly rich in geography, culture and regions. Hinduism is practiced by a greater majority of people in Nepal. Paspatina temple is the biggest and most visited temple of Lord Shiva in the world. Due to its beauty, it is listed in UN UNESCO old heritage sites. Okay, this is also general information. Some more information about uh, the same thing, famous building. Okay, uh, why it is written in different paragraphs? You may think like that as well. Uh, but uh, one thing is that when we write essay, it's better not to write very long essay. Okay, when you write of paragraph very long, then the, the reader will feel monotonous. Okay, so it's better to break down the long paragraph into small paragraph so that the reader will feel easy to read. The other thing is that uh, one information we will include in one idea you know, we can include in one paragraph and in another uh, paragraph we can include another idea. So when uh, the same idea will be uh, long then it's better to break down into paragraphs. So I have done the same thing here. Uh, third paragraph you see here uh, about who built and then when it was built. Paspati uh, was a tutorly deity of ancient ruler of the uh, Kathmandu Valley in 605 AD. Okay, uh, Angsubarma considered himself favored by his touching of the God's feet. The original temple was destroyed several times until it was given its present form under King Bhupendra Malla in 1697. So as I have told you that, who has built it? There are different stories about it. Okay, uh, so here finally the construction which we can see now, it is uh, created by or built by Bhupendra Malla. Okay, so who built it? Bhupendra Malla built it. And when it was built? It was built in 1697. So Paspatina temple stands in the center of the town of uh, Diopartan in the middle of an open country yard. So it is a square two-tired pagoda temple built on a single tile plinth and it stands 23.6 meters above the ground. Richly ornamented gilt and silver plated doors are on all sides. So we can see that gold plated, silver plated um, tem uh, idols there inside, uh, inside and outside or in the doors there uh, in Pospatina temple. So this is the special information about uh, this temple, okay, Paspatinath. Uh, I'm sorry, I cannot uh, talk about everything here. We have to do other things as well. So let's look at the next slide. 
Paspatinath is one of the holiest temple in Nepal. Okay, what is it used for? We are discussing about this now. The Paspatinath temple is considered as most important Hindu temple in Nepal. It is believed that those who die and to be die uh, cremated here will release one form from the cycle of repeated birth and death. This belief, because of this belief, people visit uh, Paspatinath temple. Okay. Okay, uh, so repeated birth and death, okay, which uh, will not happen if you visit there uh, or if you die there in Paswatanath temple, this kind of belief is there. So people from different parts of the country as well as from uh, outside, people come to visit Paswatanath. So that many pilgrims, so that many pilgrims come from all over the Nepal and India to visit Paswatanath. So this is all about, uh, I had not mentioned here about uh, what I like or dislike. Mostly everyone likes uh, the temples, okay? The same thing here for me too. So uh, first uh, two information we had uh, uh, here, there is in form first two uh, questions there in first paragraph and then two questions there in second paragraph and other questions there is in third paragraph. So in that way, we can divide the paragraphs of the essay, okay? So here I'm going to show you some of the pictures. You choose any one uh, name of any one place first uh, the place which you have not visited it that place if you uh, choose then it will be better uh, but you have to get the information to write okay you are writing uh, an essay on my favorite uh, place not about these things but my favorite place look at here uh, just guess where is it okay this is uh, Pokhara okay uh, maybe uh, many of you have visited Pokhara, okay? Uh, next one, you see here, this is Kathmandu Valley, okay? Uh, this one is Chiton, okay? Uh, this one is Patan Darwar Square, okay? Krishna Mandir, we can see here. So uh, among these four pictures, uh, which one you have not visited, you choose and then try to write essay on it. Okay, uh, so here is one example I have written about Pokhara, my favorite place. Uh, it's, I have, uh, as we had discussed that, in first paragraph we will write WH questions answer, okay? In second paragraph there is uh, something special information about that place we can talk, okay? And then finally we can conclude, okay? Uh, the description of the subject uh, which we are going to describe just like we are describing the place, okay? Uh, so for that, we use sensory details and then write down what we could see there, what we can uh, feel there, okay? What kind of excitement we can get there. Based on that, we can write the body paragraph and we will restate the information in last paragraph. So uh, just have a look there. Uh, Pokhara is a piece of heaven in the world, okay? Uh, Pokhara is one of the most scenic and exciting Valley in Nepal. Pohara Valley is the jewel of the Midwest, second major tourist spot in uh, Nepal. It is linked by air and by road from Kathmandu. Pohara lies 200 kilometers west of Kathmandu, six hours by car and 25 minutes by flight. So this is the general information about uh, the, my favorite place, Pohara. Okay, uh, you can write in the same way. If we are writing about Chiton, then you will also so write in the same way and then if you are writing about uh, uh, Darwari Square or if you are writing about any other places then you should uh, define that from where it is just here is you can see that uh, from Kathmandu I have linked, uh, I have given the information from Kathmandu uh, by bus, how many hours it needs, okay? And by flight, what it is, uh, the excess, everything I have talked about. So you can also talk in the same way. You have to relate that from where you are talking about. So uh, here, I think uh, you just get the idea from this. Uh, so here, 
the more information about Pokhara. I have divided it into four different paragraphs. You can go through it and get idea from there. Now, let's uh, conclude today's class. We had discussed about writing skill, especially we had talked about descriptive essay. Uh, in descriptive essay, we can see the description of a person or place or a thing in such a vivid detail that the reader can easily form a precise, precise means clear, okay, mental picture of what is being written about. Okay, so to make the picture clear about the place or uh, about the uh, person, okay, we can use different adjectives. I had uh, talked about adjectives before as well. Here as well, I have given you some of the simple, uh, some adjectives here. You go through it, uh, the ideas. I don't think there is any difficult word for you. If you find any difficult word, you can go through the dictionary. You can look at there, find the meaning, and then it's better to use this type of adjectives for describing or for descriptive essay writing. Uh, when you use uh, descriptive, when you use adjectives, then your picture will be very clear. The reader will uh, can create the uh, the reader can create the image of the place or the person or the building. Okay, mental picture they can create uh, when uh, you use vocabularies there, like this kind of adjectives. So, an important thing of a descriptive essay is uses of sensory details. Okay, I have talked about this many times, so you know it. Sight, touch, sounds, smell, and then taste. We can talk about uh, so that the picture will be clear for the reader while reading. Uh, look at. Uh, in this way. Uh, don't forget sensory details means smell, feelings, sound, sight, this everything you will include there and try to make your uh, descriptive essay uh, visual. Okay, you have to try to make it visual. Not, don't try to tell anything, don't try to give information, but try to show it so that the reader will find it very clear, okay? Clear image, clear picture they can uh, get there. You can talk about factual detail, but uh, through using the vocabularies or using the adjectives like this. Okay, so uh, that's it for today. Uh, as I have uh, discussed about writing a skill, we had uh, talked about creative copying, okay? We had talked about in first paragraph, how do we start our introduction part of AC, okay? Uh, we had also talked about uh, doublet questions we have to think about before writing. We should make a wave, word wave, so that it will be very helpful for us to uh, write AC. And uh, we should think about this kind of varieties of uh, adjectives to make the picture clear of your writing okay I think you understood some of the ideas mm, so uh, thank you very much for watching thank you